Hello everyone and welcome to your third PHP MySQL login tutorial. Uh, today what we're going to do is finish off coding the login.php page. Once we've done that we're going to code the login success page and we'll probably even get on to coding the logout page as well. And that should hopefully conclude this short series in creating the login system. So uh, just before we carry on coding this if statement here, what I'm going to do is just add one more line of code which is mysql close now this function which is built into php all it does is it closes the connection to mysql and stops any potential errors happening and you'd have to do this if you're having a, another connection later on if you had a massive website that has multiple database to uh, multiple databases to access or multiple tables so you know it's good practice to get in the habit of doing this so now once we've uh, done that we can save this and check uh, that it still works so if we just log in using admin and pass 123 and see there's no change in the program it just closes the MySQL connection so now what we're going to do is delete this here where it says it worked we don't need that anymore that was just for our purposes now the way what we're going to do is, if um, the user has logged in, what we want to do is load this page, login success. So to do this we use a function called header. So we type header, and then as the parameter we have in double quotations, first of all location, a colon, and then wherever we want to, uh, what page we want to load. So we want to load login success dot php and um, once we've done that I'm also going to add an else statement and doing this it will allow us to print out a message if the incorrect details are entered so I'll just say incorrect username or password so as you can see to start off with if we just enter some Incorrect, an incorrect password and press login we now get this message that says incorrect username or password now if we log in correctly see it loads the login success.php page up here now so it's now going to make sense if we code the login success page so now what we're going to do is start to code this in PHP so we're going to open our PHP tags and what we can just have is a oh no actually I want to do this in HTML I'm just going to quickly make the HTML tags and the body tags and the reason I'm doing this is so that we can also have a logout link and have it all in the same place so if we have make a header and just say welcome and then we can also have a link using the uh, anchor and uh, href tag and we'll set this equal to logout.php and we'll have the message just say logout and then close that so if we refresh this see we have welcome and logout which loads the logout.php page. So um, before we code the, the logout page, um, um, we need to change something uh, on, first of all, here on the login.php page and on the login success page. But at the moment, there's a bit of a loophole in our system. What a user can do is they can go to the home page here. And if they say want to hack our site, all they have to do is type up here login success.php and it loads the page. They haven't had to log in. So we need to protect against this. And the way that we're going to do this is use something called cookies. And what cookies are, they'll um it's a piece of data that's stored on the client system, not on the server. So what we're going to do is create a cookie. And this is and the cookie's going to check if the user's logged in. So, we'll create it down here, so if they've logged in, we'll create the cookie. 
So the easiest way to create one is to use the built-in function set cookie. So if we type here set cookie and then we're going to name it, we're just going to call it logged in for now. So if it's so we'll call it logged in because that's what it's uh is it's going to appear if the user's logged in. And the second parameter is the date. So the function for that is just date and this take uh, one long parameter. If I just type this then explain it. Okay, and what this all of this means here is these bits of code here, the fjs dash g colon i a, that's just some code that puts the date in the correct format that we want and it allows PHP to access it in the way that we want. So if we just leave it as that and you know just think of it that you need it for it to work and if you don't have this it won't work. And the second thing we need is how long do we want the cookie to last for. So if we create a variable that will hold this information and we call it time. Uh, no actually we'll set it to mins because we're gonna say how many minutes do we want it to last for. Uh, well, actually, but it's going to count in seconds. So we'll leave it as uh, seconds, and we'll set it equal to how many seconds we want plus the current time. So suppose we want it to last for, um, suppose we want it to last for two minutes. So two minutes is 120 seconds. So 120 plus the current time. So that would add two minutes to the current time, and the cookie will expire then. So now what we need to do is now we've created it on the login success page we need to check if the cookie exists and whether it's been created so to do this all we have to do is start coding in PHP up here so open our PHP tags and close them down here and we're going to use a function called is set so within the if statement if we say is set like this and we're checking whether the cookie is set. So if is set, and the way that we check if a cookie is set is using dollar underscore cookie. And then in square brackets and single quotations, quite similar to how we did it with post and logged in, because that's what we named it. So if it is set, we're going to. Oh, um, sorry, we're going to say if it isn't set. So using the exclamation mark. So if it isn't set, what we're going to do is redirect the loot user using the header function again back to the login page. So location, so we're just doing this in the same way as before, is uh, index.php. So what this is going to do is it's going to check if the cookie isn't set. And if it isn't, so they haven't logged in, it's going to take them back to the login page. If they have logged in, it will just display the HTML as normal. So now if we uh, go back to our index page and log in as admin. Oh, we've got an error on login.php line 24. Oh, I've just don't know how I've done that. but. Um, what we never did was we never put the variable seconds in it so that's how long it's going to last for and semicolon there sorry about that so now if we type in our password and here we've got a welcome screen and the logout button that doesn't do anything at the moment but now what I'm going to do is just clear the, all the cookies from my browser by opening up settings and clear browsing data and we'll clear all the cookies and other site data and now if we go back and I just do the same as before if we just type login success up here hopefully it will redirect us straight back here see if we try and go to login success if you watch here it goes straight back to index because the cookie isn't created and just to prove that this works and you don't have to delete the cookie if we change this so it will say last for uh, five seconds and then if we log in 
And if we wait a f uh, five seconds. Okay, that should be fine now. If we now go back to our uh, index page and now try again to go to login success. See, and it redirects us straight back. So now we've fixed that problem, we can now finally get on to coding logout.php. So now, to code this, what we're going to need to do is just start off with PHP tags once again. And now what we're going to do is um, what we're going to do is set the cookie equal to a negative amount if we log out. And what this will do is it's the same as uh, just making the cookie expire, and um, so the cookie won't exist anymore if we say that it's going to last for a negative amount of time. So if we create uh, another variable called seconds again, and set this equal to say minus ten plus time. So now uh, time is equal to a negative amount so uh, I mean the cookie is going to live for a negative amount of time so it's not going to exist anymore. So now what we're going to do is just set the cookie how we did before, logged in and the date and the same code as before And by the way, if you want the source code to this, just uh, post a comment and I'll upload a link in the description. So if that is something you're interested in, if you don't want to copy it out, I will upload all of the files online. So if you're interested in that, please ask and uh, you're more than welcome to have it. So I'll have that up if you want it. And we'll just here set it equal to seconds. So it's going to live for a negative amount of time and it won't work. So it, and then we're going to redirect back to the login page. Which is index.php. So just what this page is going to do is when the link is clicked, it's going to set the cookie uh the the lifetime of the cookie equal to a negative amount of time. So all that's going to do is um essentially kill the cookie, stop it uh stop it working, delete it from your computer and then it's going to redirect us back to the login page when no cookie will exist. So if we save this and try our hopefully fully working login system. So if we log in as admin and pass 123 and we can see that we're logged in and it says welcome. Now if you press log out and we've got an error on line 3 Okay, sorry about that everyone, I've just realised what the problem was. We never ended the parameter here. And if we just close that there, save this, and refresh our page and log back in, we should see that if we log out, it successfully redirects us back to the login page. And if we try and just jump straight to the login success page, it redirects us here. So that's successfully working. The login part of the, our system is now working. So we haven't quite finished these uh, tutorials yet. We have finished uh, the login system, but now we've finished that. What I'm going to do is create um, another tutorial or two on how to add new users to the database with like a uh, create new user link, which we can add really easily. So please look out for that tutorial, it will be up shortly. I hope you enjoyed, if you did please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.